Portugal are out of the World Cup, and with them, their star, Cristiano Ronaldo. Few would have hoped for a deep run from the European champions, but based on their opening game against Spain, many had them pegged as dark horses for the tournament. So their relatively early exit at the hands of another dark horse, Uruguay, came as a shock. As always, Ronaldo's ability to generate headlines is unmatched, so check out what the world's media has had to say on Portugal's elimination with the top 20 reactions to Ronaldo's World Cup 2018 exit. Number 1. Comparisons to other goats The Ronaldo comparisons to LeBron James or Messi to Steph Curry often draw themselves, with both of them seemingly possessing the ability to win games at will with their freakish athleticism and insane talent, no matter how the rest of the team is playing. But Chris Anderson, co-author of the myth-busting book on soccer, The Numbers Game, points out that no matter how influential and incredible Ronaldo and his stats may be, He's a drastically smaller contributor to Portugal's overall production than an NBA player. One man doesn't win a game, someone should tell Neymar. Number two, it's a team sport. BT Sports social media manager echoed that sentiment, giving both Ronaldo and Messi some slack for not achieving the near impossible and calling out the rest of the team for failing to carry their weight. Number three, Ronaldo's game against Uruguay. Playing at centre forward, Ronaldo had even less of an impact on the game than usual as he was expertly marshalled out by his club's domestic rivals, Jose Maria Jimenez and Diego Godin. His afternoon didn't amount to much as encapsulated by 4 4 tunes, but at least we're all talking about him. Number 4. More banter on the shorts. Despite scoring four goals to take Portugal to the round of 16, the hiked up shorts seem to be the most memorable part of Ronaldo's tournament, as even the BBC's Match of the Day Twitter account couldn't resist taking a pop at the ridiculous pre free kick routine. Number 5. The goats are gone. Mundo Deportivo typically covers FC Barcelona news, but put its partisan reporting aside when it included Ronaldo. Ronaldo, along with Messi in its cover image, bidding farewell to the cracks, or superstars, after they were each dumped out by two goals from PSG's forwards. Number 6. The dream is over. Both A Bola and O Jogo Portuguese papers ran covers with large photos of Ronaldo, declaring the dream of bringing a World Cup to Portugal to be over. Number 7. Ronaldo's reaction. Ronaldo himself's reaction to the exit was pretty stoic, refusing to discuss the obvious question of his future with the national team and whether this will be his final World Cup appearance, as he'll be 37 when the next one rolls around. He complimented his European champion team, its future prospects, and said he believed Portugal had played better than Uruguay. Number 8. The Killian comparisons continue. Ronaldo started the day one goal shy of the lead spot in the Golden Boot race, but he once again failed to score in the knockout stage of the World Cup, a fact that wasn't lost after he was eliminated on the day that Kylian Mbappe scored two in his first World Cup knockout game. Number 9. The stats keep rolling in. Opta broke down the surprising stat even further, highlighting how many shots each of the greatest of all time candidates had taken without seeing one hit the back of the net in a knockout game. Number 10. His teammates have their say. His Portugal teammate Bernardo Silva for his part said he hoped Ronaldo would stick around because he believes Ronaldo's getting better with age. Ronaldo recently said he felt he could play until he's 40, so maybe it's not too outlandish to hope for another Ronaldo World Cup appearance. Number 11. Will he stick around? Spanish paper Massa reminded everyone of a recent interview Ronaldo gave where he seemed to anticipate attending the 2022 World Cup, and for someone so intently motivated by writing his name in the history books, he'll likely manage what he sets out to achieve. Number 12. The most memorable moment this tournament. Ronaldo himself didn't have a great game against Uruguay, but the image of the match was held helping Edinson Cavani off the pitch when the striker injured his calf minutes after scoring the second goal against Portugal. Plenty of people applauded Ronaldo's gesture as the image of this World Cup so far. It's certainly a better one than the pulled up shorts. Number 13. Was it a genuine gesture? Meanwhile, others saw it a little more cynically and possibly realistically given Ronaldo's ruthless competitive streak. Number 14. Gotta appreciate the irony. In Ronaldo's head, his good deed not being immediately returned with goals was probably the rudest thing that's ever happened happened to him. Number 15. Ronaldo could have done more. One Twitter user didn't miss the opportunity to resurface a gem of a Mark Noble gif, showing how true sportsmen help their injured opponents off the field. Number 16. Though maybe he did too much. His show of sportsmanship, regardless of intention aside, not everyone was pleased with how Ronaldo had conducted himself on the field. 
Former World Cup referee Graham Pohl, best known for showing three yellow cards in a World Cup match, labelled Ronaldo a disgrace and a screaming prima donna for the way he yelled at Mexican referee Cesar Ramos toward the end of the match. Number 17. A deserved comeuppance? There was glee to be had for finally seeing the Portuguese side face some decent competition after scraping their way to the European Championship two years ago and being given a gift of a World Cup Group 2. Number 18. Mo Salah's back in the Ballon race. Fans of Mo Salah who were disappointed to see him exit unexpectedly early were happy to see his two competitors for this year's Ballon d'Or also exit earlier than they would have hoped. Salah may have gone out in the group stage without winning a match, but Ronaldo and Messi have finished with the same amount of silverware as the Egyptian. Number 19. He still broke records. Ronaldo's former teammate Rio Ferdinand was magnanimous in his praise, saying it wasn't the exit or assisting Cavani that Ronaldo will be remembered for in this World Cup. His display against Spain was truly next level. He may have only played in four matches, but he still broke records. Number 20. Hard to hate how it happened. Ronaldo may have been the superstar everyone was talking about at the beginning and end of the match that sent him home, but the ones that made the difference on the field were Suarez and Cavani. Men in Blazers' Roger Bennett highlighted the true beauty in football, that the two of them grew up together and were now playing glorious football in the world's biggest contest. It's hard to hate on one of the world's best players leaving the competition early when the other side was so superior. Which hot take did you most agree with? And will Ronaldo be back in a Madrid shirt next year, or a Juventus one? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and tell us what other videos you want to see. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them if we make them, and give this one a like so we know what you thought. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Lloyd Mallison, and I'll see you soon.